A 15-year-old boy continues fighting for his life after suffering critical injuries while riding on the roof of a moving GO train. Police are investigating, and we talked to Metrolinx about the access point and the safety measures in place to help put a stop to the stunt known as train surfing. It's a very reckless thing to do, and, and I get that, you know, you get popular uh, by the likes and the views, uh, but it's not worth it. City News has learned four teenagers between the ages of 14 and 16 were heading home from watching the hockey game at Maple Leaf Square. Just before midnight, they boarded the eastbound GO train at Union. Police tell us three of the four teens decided to make their way onto the roof, and then tragedy struck as the train was approaching overhead signals near Danforth station. The teens were apparently standing up and recording the stunt. Two of the boys ducked in time while the 15 year old was apparently hit by the metal structure. The latest update we do have is that he is still in life threatening condition. A police investigation is underway and Metrolink says it is fully cooperating. The chief safety officer tells me there is only one access point to the roof near the train's engine and numerous safety measures are in place. We have a, a fire exit. At one, in one part of the train that's locked, it has a screen, also has a bar covering it. You'd have to defeat that and then you'd have to be very agile to actually gain access to the roof. We have taken lots of measures recently to remove any type of items that would assist people getting onto a roof, ladders, um, handrails that we use for maintenance and inspections activities. We've actually removed those, so it's very difficult to gain access. This is not the first time train surfing has been investigated in Toronto. Less than two months ago, these videos were circulating on social media, and about a year ago, a 15-year-old boy was killed after climbing on the roof of a TTC subway car near Warden Station. Just a quick search on Instagram and endless videos pop up. Doing things that are risky, doing things that uh, are designed to draw attention can be both a way of getting status from the people you already know, um, but it can also be a way of finding new audiences, uh, of obtaining clout. And particularly when young people are already following influencers who are engaging in these kinds of stunts, um, they can feel as though it's something that they'll get attention for as well. Police and Metrolinx are hoping this tragedy will deter others. The trauma that um, the, the boys are going to feel knowing that their friend was seriously injured and could possibly die, um, it's definitely not worth that, um, that thrill that they're going to get for that moment. Now, aside from the tragic consequences that can result from this stunt, police say the act of train surfing breaks numerous laws and can lead to criminal charges. Shauna Hunt, City News.